2024 Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid. With its latest redesign, the Hyundai Santa Fe adopts a bold new design that retains none of the soft lines of the previous generation model. Its linear, boxy exterior wraps around a more modern cabin that seems to draw inspiration from luxury SUVs such as the Land Rover Range Rover. Three rows of seats provide room for up to seven riders, but second row captain's chairs drop the seating capacity to six. Under the hood is a hybrid powertrain that consists of a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine and an electric motor. All models come with a six-speed automatic and we expect to see all-wheel drive as a standard feature. When the new Santa Fe goes on sale, it will face off with other mid-size hybrid SUVs, such as the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4XE, the Kia Sorento Hybrid, the Mazda CX-90 Payachivi, and the Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Look for the Santa Fe Hybrid in your local Hyundai showroom in spring 2024. What's new for 2024? The Santa Fe Hybrid is entirely redesigned for 2024, complete with a boxier exterior and a posh-looking cabin. It'll be sold alongside a non-hybrid model, which we review separately. Pricing and which one to buy? Blue, $38,000. Cell, $41,000. Limited, $46,000. Calligraphy, $49,000. Hyundai hasn't released information about the Santa Fe Hybrid's trim levels or pricing yet, but we expect it to follow a similar formula as the previous generation model. When we find out more about pricing and options, we'll update this story with details and recommend the trim that represents the best value engine, transmission, and performance. All Santa Fe hybrids are powered by a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder which is assisted by an electric motor for a combined 232 horsepower. That's a little more powerful than the 226 horsepower setup that was offered in the previous generation model. When we tested that version back in 2021, it sauntered to 60 miles per hour in a decent 7.5 seconds. All models come with a six-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive is likely to be standard on the hybrid even if the non-hybrid Santa Fe comes with either front or all-wheel drive setups. When we get a chance, we'll test the new version and we'll update this story with driving impressions and test results. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG The EPA hasn't released fuel economy estimates for the Santa Fe hybrid just yet, but given that it runs a similar hybrid powertrain as the previous generation model, we expect to see similar results. The 2023 Santa Fe Hybrid was rated at 36 MPG City and 31 MPG Highway. For more information about the Santa Fe Hybrid's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo Influence for the Santa Fe Hybrid's interior is clearly coming from Range Rover, with an upscale design with modern tech integrated throughout. The Santa Fe Hybrid offers three rows of seats, with optional captain's chairs for the second row, those second row seats can also be had with a power reclining feature. Hyundai has used eco-friendly materials throughout the Santa Fe Hybrid's cabin, including sustainable leather upholstery that's been carefully processed to reduce its impact on the environment. Infotainment and connectivity. A 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster shares a curved panel with the touchscreen infotainment system on the Santa Fe Hybrid's dashboard. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on every model. A separate 6.6-inch touchscreen provides access to the climate controls. Two wireless smartphone charging pads and various USB-C ports dot the interior, and Hyundai has even integrated an available UVC sterilization tray to help kill germs on passengers' phones, wallets, and other smaller items. Safety and driver assistance features. All Santa Fe models will come standard with a host of driver assistance features, but more advanced tech, including an adaptive cruise control system with a lane centering feature, may be optional. When we find out more about the Santa Fe's safety features, we'll update this story with those details. For more information about the Santa Fe's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety websites. Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature Warranty and maintenance coverage among mid-size SUVs, the Santa Fe Hybrid, and that's its corporate twin, the Kia Sorento, offer the longest standard warranty terms. The Hyundai still holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complimentary scheduled maintenance program. Limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles. 